one more, we have uh, Council Member Khan, and then um, I have a note from Kev Abajanian uh, said he will be filing a lawsuit in violation of the Brown Act if he's not allowed to speak. I really had hoped this would be a positive afternoon, but it apparently isn't. He's actually uh, moving on a recall of me. So I will let you speak if you'd like to come up and take two minutes, and then after Council Member Khan. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I just want to. I just want to. Thank you, Mayor and you have Shea. two minutes. Thank you, Mayor Shea, for allowing me to speak. Um, I don't know why the order was changed so that other people went before me. I just was asking to speak. I was not threatening a lawsuit. So. Yes, I just have a note from my city attorney. You just told him you were going to file a lawsuit if we didn't allow you to speak. But go ahead. You have two minutes. Yeah. Um, so thanks for allowing me to speak. I actually was going to praise you for doing what you did. Um, this is a very important, positive first step. And I, I really am happy that Irvine's taking this. Um, I wanted to share with you why this is so important to me and should be important to everybody. This is a photo, 14-year-old Kev Abazajian doing a science fair project in ninth grade. I lived on the Texas Gulf Coast, and the threat of hurricanes was a real threat. I showed that climate change and global warming was going to produce stronger hurricanes. Next slide, please. My parents saved up for years to have a beach cabin on the Gulf Coast in the Bolivar Peninsula. Next slide, please. 2008, it was destroyed by Hurricane Ike. Next slide, please. We weren't alone. $38 billion of damage was done by Hurricane Ike on the Texas Gulf Coast and, and all over uh, the Atlantic. And this is not just a story about me and my family and our property. Next slide, please. Our world is on fire. And a lot of us are burning inside. Next slide, please. We're in the middle of the fifth ever greatest great extinction of species. One million species are going to be going extinct during this era. And that's why we need to act now and act strongly with not just a community choice energy, but a climate emergency uh, and having uh, uh, a goal of carbon neutral by Thank 2030. Thank you for your comments. Your two minutes are up. Thank you. Thank you. OK, so <laughs> Council Member Carroll, if you could bring him back, because we have to start our, oh, yeah, they're both there. They're gone? OK. So hold on one second. Any other council comments at this time? Okay, so we have a motion on the floor in a second. As soon as he gets here, we will vote. Mayor, could we state the motion? Because I, at this point, it's been muddied. I, uh, City I, Clerk, do you have it? I would prefer that the maker of the motion clarify his motion uh, to add the amendments um, that were relayed by the city council. Yeah. Is it coming? We're waiting for you. Glad you've returned. They want, uh, council member Fox wants you to read your motion again. I apologize, Mayor. I was exercising my faith in democracy. And at a time like this, we ought to have faith in our democracy. So I don't have to listen to someone who's trying to recall me for fraudulent means. Uh, my motion is to place 